Hello guys and welcome to Vegas Trends. It's your boy Joseph Trends in the building. I'm here to tell you guys what's popping in the 254 and welcome to Vegas Trends. Now on this week's episode of Vegas Trends, we're going to be focusing on guys in Nakuru who are actually making something out of their craft. You know, we have stylists, we have artists, we have each and every person in this part of the Sahara that is Nax Vegas, my people. So on this week's episode, we have Sharu Ware, the number one stylist in Nakuru, my people. So this is his story. Welcome to my hustle. But anyway, so we want to know, and guys want to know, you know, my hustle in this segment here where we'll end our wapi because each of you are to easy to do. We can see we have a nice setup over here. Um, it all started somewhere. So, yo, now, uh, very simple. Ilianza wapi challenges. Nini wale wasali kwa ngambe baide huta make it, huta make it. Na pia umenda maju? Ni menda maju. Lakini that's another story. But yeah. Actually. So, um, do ni inge kongu. In yeah. high school, I used to work for my uncle here. Yeah? I used to sell uh, women's clothes. I used to bring things from my kids. So, apo ndo ni vichu wa kongi ya nawasi. Apo ndo inataka na yanza. Yeah. Need to know how to talk to people. Conversation. Mm. You say it on go, it's a personal thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For any business, it's a personal thing. Sure. So, so from there, Nika uh, decided I wanted to go to the US. No, Canada. Canada, Sorry. yeah. But uh, I applied in Karuka. Kamakawa, when you have to run Yeah, put on Nanza, Nanza, Manza. So, the amount of money that I had uh, after paying the tuition fee, it, I think it was refunded back. So, again, I came from Tumba. Oh uh, yeah, because I, I I was using what I had. Yeah, yeah, sure. And why did you choose Canada of any other country? Like when you were no, starting? because off? my uncle was there. Oh, your uncle was yeah, there, so yeah. Because even he's still there, so. Oh. But then it was I just say in Raisi. Yeah, no problem. But the money they got gone. Got tricky. It was like it's it's like ten fifteen years ago. Wow. Yeah. So, ni kan mongo zamtumba. Friend of mine, kani chakule pukali, ni kajaribu. So I was going round. And I was getting things from my uncle, some t-shirts. I was saying shoppers. So I was saying old old guys in shoppers, they really know. So upon the Nian the hustle, then I came to see my So you gonna be my t-shirt like yeah, in, in bags. Naka bag give it. What and I, bag mgongo? I had big bags. I used to, it was a hassle then. What? People who know me where, where, where I've come from, yeah? I wish we could get those photos, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, wait, wait yeah, first, like, the top figure, sub, we any Saruk on a bug, palette, t shirts, image, and how much were they going for? Uh, t shirts, I used to buy for 250 in camera. 250, 200, bro. Then you sell for like 500. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, then I had 350, I'll cut it. So, then I went to hoodies. I used to buy hoodies at 200 bob or 250, you sell like 500. So I met a friend of mine. Yeah. He, used, he used to sell me clothes when, when I was working at my uncle's place. Yeah. My uncle was paying me good money on a, for a young man. Yeah, sure. So that guy, I met, I met him in Sigma and uh, he taught me the hustle. Mm -hmm. And then there come. So I just so fixed a, a myself. Apprentice, yeah. Yeah, I just fixed myself in, a, in, a, in what was coming up. Yeah, sure. They, they, they had a shop. In Sigma, it was called River Island. Mm -hmm. So there were three of them Timothy, uh, Saidi, and Konya. We call him Jim Loja. Eh? Yeah, yeah. So he's in Nairobi. He's a very good friend of mine. So he told me the hustle. I used to promote him then. He told me again. The yeah, yeah, sure. So to Kanza Kuzango, they used to bring go, then you are a salesman. Then from there, it's, it all started from there. Too, so now, where are the guys right now? Like, when mm -hmm. women in Nairobi? Yeah. Saeed is in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, Timothy is running a company for car hire. Oh, and wow. Konya, he recently came from China. Hey. He brought things from China. The guy's and making we, moves, we, man. We, 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 chatting, we, we, we chat with him yesterday. I think yeah. it was yesterday. We were going to go to Simu and he would come, but he will come to Nakuru. Sure. So, yeah. You guys, ne? So, uh, so first of all, Umesama, you know, you started with working uh, for your uncle, like yes. your high school, yes. So that is where interest started from, yes, Sindyo. And you've learned over time. That was like close to ten years ago, yeah, that right? Was ten years ago. Uh, all right. So now, how did you come and open up this whole place? Yeah. So, I, I, uh, we had a partnership with my friend Kevo. He had his shop. He, he still has his shop. Mm -hmm. So I started from there. We need money from my grandmother. And by the way, 
nilirudisha hiyo do watu wenye wana sasa sasa nikupea do eh alinipea do alikuwa unajua shosho na kuorganize chama chama so she lent money from there yeah. akanipatia then i give i gave it back mimi mimi ni mzuri nikarudisha so it started from there but in the middle of the of the journey there was a bump Oh. Jo jana jana ni you know those guys those times i let somebody money i had expenses my financial uh, accountability iko poa yeah. so chini chini kabisa so i had to go back to my dad's home and i was feeling now peke yangu unaona so i had to go back back to my dad's so which means again at all at okay in the household so that that brings into my mind that you also need to learn how to manage your finances wisely kabisa as a young guy i want to come there so that you you are pati mzuri how i made it here now. yeah so um when i went back to my dad's my dad's house budango i stayed there for two days and just me decide aje yeah. you staying at home mono merudi can you 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 know you're a young man you know you're very fortunate you are like i was like 20 mm. you know you're very fortunate you're 20 and this has happened to you when you're 20 yeah. you got experience that most men when they are like 40 are ndo wanapata yeah. so can you say i'm going to hustle when you are a young man i came back I started hustling in kevo he used to bring things and i i just sell so i, I started learning from there mm-hmm. the the only thing i remember i did perfectly and ilini said i decide i opened an account oh a bank account no money. Yeah, yeah yeah i had like 200 bob ona ile sweetol 5 i think 500 bob for for the atm then i started depositing pole pole then after i think 2 or 3 months nina kangalia account i just texted my girlfriend hey you know this a certain amount of money wow it don't even in, in my mind i had like uh, half of the amount oh cuz I, i used to deposit and never that's gone and i oh and leo naeka tu naeka tu then one day susan comes up later to me you know and my expenses were low cuz then i was living in my dad's yeah, yeah. so ilikuwa tu na 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 tu na kitu mtaani unaona so at the end of the day can iki iki grow iki grow then i i took a shop i had a partner then yeah but now we, we are not partners we are tayari fungo yake yeah fortunately um, but you guys now you, you guys uh, grew out of each yeah. other kila mtu sasa is a co yeah sure yeah you know so that is where nimefika sasa hivi naweza sema i'm grateful experience yote nimepata sasa hivi any any young man at afjani like i get texts on uh, ig and and they ask me sharu ndafikaje hapo azi ni kweli ya this talk how much itafika hapo you know it is it is not the amount of money you can be have a lot of money kabisa but it is experience yeah sure if you, if you can buy experience i was everybody of us could be rich yeah ni kweli but, but you must take your time and learn trust I, the process I, yeah the process you know trust the process I, and unfortunately for me uh, or unfortunately i never knew siko nimefunzo so i had to learn So mimi nimekuwa funzo kwa watu wengi. So oh, if, yeah. if, 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 if you want to learn and you want to be quick in your steps, sure. just come and ask me. I'll, I'll just show you. No na. No na cuz now you have experience for me. I just teach you don't go this way. You go this way. No na. Yeah, yeah. It's easier for you. Because penye vijana wengi wako wadogo ndio tu penye ulikuwa nga you know years back. You know na even the guys that I'm hustling with, I'm telling them, "Hey boss, we are, I was there." Yeah, no na. I've seen it. No na, you you try to be just shape yourself you sure no, no at the end of the day it will, it will be in your benefit yeah so now um i want i want to know like kuna maboys una kwanga hapa nje ndio and anytime customers come in una kwa to make chill out you know they come tell them this you know you get to talk at this much so in short you are mentoring them yes now i'm creating employment for them. <coughs> yeah for them also because you know they also get something out of it you know True. at the end of the day so how do you choose whom you're going to work with and whom you are not going to work with because after this particular video kuna mtu atasema eh na by the way nataka job kwa sharu nataka nini so, so um, i usually do this so mimi nilipatiwa nilimentor you and so mm-hmm. what, what 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 i did there's a there's a friend of mine we, we were friends when he was one school mate so he came so i mentored him then what he did he mentored another guy this guy just came and he said no sharu want to work and then i had no guys so miles mentored this guy and this guy now has mentored another guy No, no. so that is how you get 
like people yeah. for working. So it depends with the one who is uh, at the last point. Then you have to maintain because oh, yeah, yeah, just give them an opportunity. For, for for somebody to tell me that he wants to work for Sharu, it takwa gumu for me to give you an opportunity, and they're like four guys. Yeah. It's supposed to be the fourth guy who's supposed to mentor you. If oh, so it's like it's like it's like it's a, a, it's, it's a, like a chain. Yeah, a chain. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's like a chain. So, so you get like even if Miles, let's say, opens a, a shop, no one attack one mentor the next one. Yeah. No one. Then maybe the back in our William or Tato. Then these guys will mentor other people. No one. It's not. It's not me. You're you're supposed to learn from Sharu. Then I give you an opportunity, but I don't pay you. You need to teach yourself how to talk to people. Do your comfort, I'm saying. Yeah, you're going. I'm not party opportunity. I walk, could you find that one? This in practical. Let's move on. Nepal and Nigeria. You know, come and be by the way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so yeah. so that that uh, customer relationship. relationship is is really important, right? Very, very. So now, onto your style, how you dress. Um, one time you're walking in shorts in the street. True. You have dreads. True. You know, what about maskio? What up, man? Like you're in a ragged t-shirt. Like you tell us about it. Nataka kutuambia kutoboa masikio you are a family guy nini you know guys when they see you like why do you do it um style one mimi sema biashara nafanya you know mm-hmm. it's style no no si uzi nyanya no no so <laughs> lazima so cool. kuna kitu mimi sema kama style is talk about look ana na cause sisi tuko nyuma you know in the west the when we sleep they working Yeah, yeah sure so style yao iko mbele sana kutushinda naona and what is happening there will be copy pasted in africa oh. uh, or maybe better naona so mimi na jaribu kuleta hiyo hiyo western culture huko uh, at yeah. the same time tukisema oh we are africans kuna vitu vya tutafika mahali kwa tungefanyaga before yeah sure naona tutacho nyuma tungefanyaga before but najui itafanyika tu naona kuna mzazi anakuambia hii si poor kufanya You know tattoos were bad. Yeah. Locks were bad before. Now parents are made here. Yeah because no, it's, uh, you know it's it's art. I believe yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a form no, of no. art so, yeah. Kuna venye na Hata Samsung kwamba ipo alikuwa na locks. Yeah yeah. Kuna venye mtu ana Jexpress. But for me um one locks in any kind of fashion sana. At first it nilie ka kwa sababu ile kwa style. Ona and that was 10 years ago. Ona hata ikuwa style ilikuwa like form ya kuje express. Yeah. Sai mm-hmm. locks kia kan style. Naona but for me ndo kinza kwa ni bado na kazi. Naona for me ina nifunza perfect. So easy locks za kwa ni from like scratch ni like a grow. Yeah boss. Nakwambia patience. You know patience. How many years now? How many years? 9 9 I think. 9 years. 9 years. years. Ina kufunza patience. Patience. Yaani kuna mse anza ku piece of back. Acha tu ni. And who, who, who does your hair? A friend of mine called Eric. Pia is a fitness uh, is a fitness uh, gymist so instructor is yeah, of the sort yeah yeah so and he's doing a good job yeah very very good. like his locks are quite expensive to maintain uh, yeah, okay for you ones, for neat ones neat, neat, ones. neat ones yeah yes but if you are just to put like locks in chip maintain mm, chip maintain yeah compared compared mm-hmm. with hair am okuna endaga kila wakati unaenda kutengeneza nywele yeah 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 mwana ume endaga una do clean shape unaona yeah am i would have to do locks sure. you, you look better you look different for me I'm a stylist yeah a style is supposed to be different no no we say masharu mali one piece you know no you're so no, i'm not supposed to be the same like everybody yeah. no i have to do me you have I to be a little bit shy. different yeah, yeah. Be a little bit different don't say kwamini no no don't say kwamini afike bei lazima no no that's cool but the story is a day i lazima uko different ndio hata kikujevi anaona honestly this guy looks good so which means you know he has quality products yes. and quality products also come at a fee yes you know sure so looking at what we have here um easy via to zote man they look so nice i i should get myself a pair man you should, you should. Yeah. pair or two <laughs> a pair or two so like you know such a shoe um what want to do maybe maybe your prices may not be said here yeah. um but You know, for you, what does it take? Like, um, how do you judge a uh, quality of a product when you go out there? You look at the product. How do you judge the quality from like, you know, nangali, you know, na hii hapa na. Lakini hii hii ndio quality poor. One nataka kusema hivi. If if to all the young men, eh, yeah. If tunaweza fika bei original. Kwanza itaza kwa kitu fiti sana. Yeah. Imagine una buy kitu original. Cuz this this is African quality, you know. Oh, because when you say original, this shoe is like uh, 
150 dollars. Yeah, the, the real McCoy, the real one, you know, the real deal. The real deal is yeah. like that's and like 15 15 G's, man. Yeah, 15 G's. I don't get connect. These videos go connect. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So me me playing this again. When you ask me about original, I tell you the price. Yeah. Cause Zico, I can deliver. But no for African, you yeah, for African mfuko ya yeah, youth man, no na. Me na collect ya kitu ni na karibia mfuko yako. You wear for a year, no na. Iki na sana. Yeah. But then kuna ile poor quality kabisa. No na. Poor quality. It depends pia na mfuko yako. That is what the Chinese are doing. No na watengi zaki tu mfuko yako. So, so there is always something in the market to fit to, or to suit your pocket. Your pocket. But then. If the same laws apply uh, that, that, that apply in the US you know, in Western countries, yeah. apply in Africa, will apply in Africa. We're supposed to be building our own brands. Yeah, that, that, now that comes to the next question. Yeah. Would you want to see maybe a line or something, a fashion piece, yeah. Sharu? Yeah. Soon. One time. Soon. You but sure? Yeah. Hundred percent. Because uh, um, as, as as I keep doing this job, mm -hmm. normally in Africa, and to progress. Yeah. You know, some, sometimes for me, this is the honest truth. I don't feel good selling Nike, and I know it's, it's not it's not the real Nike. Because me, if me for the sport, me for me I'll do everything original. Because at, at some point, you can tell me when you are to a gari showroom and to a people bag, you know. That is, that is yeah. feeling. When I'm saying when I go showroom, I'm in a rap. Kai karatasi, I'm to a zero mileage. There's like. a store in the US. They sell like legit shoes. Imagine going there, you pick like a shoe that is ten thousand dollars. Shoe man, Air Max ten thousand dollars. No, no. For for an African, that's much. You know, ten thousand dollars is a million. Hey man, that's a you, lot of you money. You buy a shoe for a million. You know? Nah. So and that is why it's going market to suit the youth. Yeah. You want to look good now. You know. Those kind of government here too. Nah. Is it not the man? To just put there the real thing. I mean, yeah. Some, the real thing is. Yeah, I'm sure. I couldn't do that. I'm going to be a ticket. I'm going to be a ticket. I'm going to be a ticket. But for now, it's not the only thing that I can do. Yeah. The African quality. I'm going to be a ticket. Yeah, Sharu. So now, I want to learn, um, you know, lastly, as we wrap up, I want to learn, like, for you, all this while. Now, what do you, okay, it's a, it's a question that's always asked in you know, all the interviews, but I, I still want to learn, like, uh, in the next, not even five, let's say two years. Um, where do you want to see yourself? Do you want to see another shop like this? Do you want to see maybe um, maybe your own family member somewhere whom you're mentoring um, doing the same thing? Like where do you want to see yourself in just two years? In two years, um, one, I would like to... One, prices. No, not prices. Is it easy to go lower. And to, and to do in large quantity, but then prices come uh, customer oh, go lower. Yeah. Two, and to open a, a close one, like Sharu. Mm -hmm. When Sharu, uh, then uh, I'll, I'll just credit it to Sharu, only one piece. Yeah, but yeah. It's, uh, I want it to be Sharu. Kuna zile specific pieces, eh? when you get outside there, like these specific pants, eh? that somebody who designed it somewhere and doesn't have, like the name is not big. No? Yeah. Like you can, because uh, labels are copy of, of a code. So, Nichukwe, the big label. In the <laughs> no, no. So you start yeah. from there. You, you start from there. Then you, you if 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 money is is there, when the internship outside you do styling, on no, no. Paris. Uh, then you go like New York, New York you know. Uh, then come back and, and London also because I remember um that some other some time back I interacted with uh, with another stylist by the way. her name is Milliam she's from the UK. Um actually I should link you guys up. Um, and uh, you know sh she's here back in Kenya, and I just realized that you know she has also seen that the future is here. Yes. Because Uko, the already yeah. already in the future. Yeah. Okay, the future. See, not Uko, but, but but the good thing with Africa is a small baby. Oh yeah. Already we know what adults are doing. No, no. And so there's potential, and there's we've learned. Now, you know, it's like a, a land that is not farm. Yeah. No, no. Because it's 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 eco eco nutrient. So Africa is uh, just an, an, another opportunity. A you go to yeah. So when you go to learn, come place. Learn. Come place. We understand you're a family guy, and you're doing a fantastic job. You know, keeping your family life private, which is really nice because uh, you know, kwa watu pale kutoka na story mingi na madem Buddha. Awakosagi, awakosagi, awakosagi. But. <laughs> 
I appreciate having a family. You know, many times as a young man, I'm very young, by the way, I'm very very young. Very young. But in many times, mm-hmm. you know, when you have a family, you know, if if you're religious, there's something in, in in the Bible that says when when you find a good wife, uh, you're blessed. Yeah, you sure. See? Or when you find a wife, uh, I think when you find a virtuous wife. So, you rib. Yeah, you rib. <laughs> no, no, we were told that <laughs> they were created we, we, from. We were, you know, you know, they were created from us, but we are supposed to work hard. No, no, we were told we will work hard. You know, but, but then when you, I think when you, when you get a wife, you are blessed. So yeah. in your hard work, you're blessed. So then she manages your, your everything. You know, where's yeah, where's you where's You take care of your kid. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know. There are some things men can't. But then you call it, but they couldn't have seen him as a man. So when you when you get somebody who helps you, no, no, and she's your like mentor, no, no. There's some places that you know, if you come out, you say, I can't do it, but she's the only one who can motivate. I couldn't do. I couldn't do. We need a certain. I couldn't. Alarm. Yeah. Alarm. Yes, I'm going to share with you. Yeah. That that is a secret. People ask me why why I have alarms after every two hours. That is a secret, and I will share it. Mbona mbona. Moja, moja. Next vlog, you're gonna yeah. be doing it. <laughs> I will share it next time. Yeah. So, um, so having someone who actually motivates you is number one supporter, also your number one critic, and I can't believe that. Funny feet. Maybe I think you can do this. Yeah. So that is really really yeah. important. She tells me like Apple, like even in business, she she sees. You know, you're learning is seeing. So yeah, she sure. Me, like you do, you need to do this. I, Uh, like zamani i used to not listen to her but say she tells me i i try eight to one to one like that and if if you're lucky enough one of the lucky people to get like somebody who's a helper to you rather than a wife or she's yeah. a helper like she's up at next and come be and we need to do this no, you you go far amazing sharu There's a lot we can talk about. Man. There's Kapsa. there's a lot of content. So anyway, guys, keep it Vegas trends. My name is Joseph Mina, the number one trend setter in this part of the Sahara. That is Nax Vegas. Remember, guys, this is my hustle. What is your story? If you have anybody who actually um you know has a story, or if I know, Miss Kumsel gonna zati show, zaroabi, say no zakiatu ya, you know. Anyway, guys, now menda around the world. So here's thing, fam. Keep it Vegas trends. My name is Joseph Mina. Sharu Mali One Piece. Kama kawa. Kama kawa kama da. See you. What are you putting up? Kilo go to. I put a Sigma, Roman 10, uh, and 11. Nakuru. Amazing. Sigma first floor. You see them by the Sigma first floor. Kuja. What one Nairobi? What people diaspora? What you have in the sana? Cheers, man. Subscribe, like, and share. Bye.